Next to the biggest fight of Matthew Hatton's boxing career, the younger brother of Ricky Hatton, of course, he defends his European welterweight title against Ukrainian Yuri Nuznenko at Bolton Arena tomorrow night. A world title fight almost certainly awaits the winner. Well, Granada Reports has been granted exclusive access to Matthew's training camp. Here's Chris Hall. Win or lose this weekend, Matthew Hatton can expect a moving experience. He's not taking his brother's mantle, but his brother's mantle piece. This is the house we're moving into soon. Uh, Ricky sold it to me, not, uh, not too bad of a price, so it's worked out well. That's actually my mum and dad's house there. He'll be keeping an eye on us both. City flights, they've got to go. He had all his belts in that trophy cabinet there, you know. Uh, He's left as a solemn way, really sad, well. Yeah, I don't think I can fill the cabinet quite as well as, uh, as he can at the minute, but who knows in time. Obviously, being brothers, people are going to compare. You know, people say, oh, Rick, Matthew's in Ricky's shadow. Every other welterweight in, in Europe at the minute isn't as good as me. So uh, I like to look at it that way. You know, I, I don't think I'd ever move from around this area, really. You know, all my friends and family here. It's fair to say Yuri Nuznenko won't become one of them. Nuznenko's, you know, been, been saying, you know, uh, my friends and family won't be able to recognise me after the fight. Show us how you box. Oh, he's down. I think it's the biggest fight in my career, you know, um, a former world champion. You know, he's only lost one fight, a strong guy. Um, but so am I. That's down to this man, trainer Bob Shannon, a master of the hard sell. You've got a seat to believe it. This man is the man and the even harder stare. Confidence breeds confidence, and I'm, I'm very confident. Fuck my name, Lasso the Mohicans. That's me. Boom, boom, boom. I won't tell you what I call him under my breath. He's not taking his fight lightly by any means, and uh, we're going to win. We're going to put a great performance for the Manchester fans and do boxing proud. That's what we're going to do, and that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I win. It's a chance that's been brewing all his life to set up a world title shot and make years of sacrifice worthwhile. A lot of the stuff I like I can't really have. Salmon fillet with couscous and steamed veg. Not my idea of a nice tea. So I'm having a chili with rice and steak. It's been about eight weeks now since I've had chip, pizza, chocolate, fizzy drink, stuff like that. What does your Uncle Richard drink? Guinness. Guinness? <laughs> and sometimes people, you know, when they see the, the success Ricky's had with his career, people assume that I'm in the same same boat, same situation, which isn't the case. You know, I've got a, I've got a mortgage, you've got a young family to provide for, and, and, and that's what I'm doing. And for Matthew, there's no greater motivation. Twinkle, little star. It would be nice for him to say, yeah, Dad was a world champion, you know, uh, I want him to be uh, to be proud of me when uh, when he gets older. Chris Hall, Granada reports, Hyde. Yeah, best of luck to Matthew tomorrow night. Well, next.